What I'm about to say is a bit disrespectful of the Lord of Geo and would draw a lot of angry looks. So it's best to discuss this somewhere quiet. Your argument just now exhibited acuteness of speech and thought. Most importantly, you don't fall for the boasting and acting of the others. You remain objective. So I have a question for you. Perhaps you will answer differently from other scholars. Do you think that all the gods that the Geo Archon killed were evil? Let's not analyze it in terms of good versus evil. Rex Lapis placed great importance on the integrity of contracts. So any gods he killed certainly must have broken some kind of contract. Right! The Lord of Geo wouldn't kill the innocent. But when I was doing some research, I learned about the legend of the God of Salt. The God of Salt, Havria, was a very kind god. But she encountered Morax one day in battle. Morax used a rather underhanded trick to... assassinate her. What? No way! This... this bit of history is a long story. But you may not like the truth when you hear it. Don't worry, please tell me what you know. This event... I've already searched for answers for a long time. Quite so. I don't know where to begin. Over here! Mr. Zhang Li! I've been looking for you! <laughs> ah, so you're over here all this time. Put down your weapon and stay back! Otherwise... Uh... Paimon's reporting you to the Millilith! First of all, I'm not holding a weapon. There's no need to overreact now. I'm simply an archaeological researcher from Snezhnaya. I'm not here for trouble. The Fatui say that every time! But this time, I registered with the Liyue Ministry of Civil Affairs. I could show you the official documentation if you want to see it. I will be conducting an archaeological survey here, the results of which will all be shared with the Ministry. I heard that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor had a consultant named Zhang Li, with immense knowledge of ancient history and archaeology. So I paid Wangsheng Funeral Parlor a handsome amount to hire Zhang Li as my own consultant while I'm in town. So you mean to say that this is work for the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, yes? Well, since it's work, I don't have a choice. A consultant of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor must respect their duty. Of course you would be such a reasonable man. Well then, let's head out now, shall we? Wait, if you are studying archaeology, can I go too? I am also a scholar in this field, so I can help. That will give us a chance to continue the topic we were just discussing. Oh, and you should tag along too. This experience may be of help to you on your future adventures. It is a story from before the Rise of the Seven. Although the God of Salt has already perished, it will still be a meaningful experience for your journey. This is... wait. This is an archaeological expedition, not a tour group. That's too many people. But this friend of mine has a treasure-finding talent, surpassed by no one. It will surely be of great help to us. Oh? What talent? If my friend espies a treasure chest, they will absolutely find a way to open it. Hey, Paimon's good at that too! Well, that is quite enticing. All right then. Well, let's go. There's no time to waste. When the Overlord of the Vortex was crushed by the Jade Chamber recently, perhaps something of interest was washed ashore. An ancient artifact would be good. Traces of ancient activity would be great. But a piece of the God's limb would be even better. Who knows what surprises we may find. <laughs> You're in for a little... This place looks so ordinary. Can we really find anything valuable here? 
thinks it looks really grand. I don't mean the scenery, but rather that there should be something out of the ordinary. A big battle did just occur and all, and I don't even know where to begin looking here. Guyan Stone Forest is actually the perfect place to be, if you wish to learn about the gods or the history of the Archon War. Legend has it that Rex Lapis threw spears made of large rock into the sea here, piercing and crushing the overlord of the Vortex. After many years of wind erosion, those stone spears have turned into the unique rock formations we see now. These mountains were the Lord of Geo's weapons? What we see now is just the part of them that remains. The stone spears hurled by Rex Lapis all those years ago were much greater, both in number and in size. But due to the different angles they landed at, their large centers of mass, erosion by seawater and years of gravity, many of them have been completely swallowed by the sea. So besides wind erosion, the initial collapsing of the stone spears also played a big part in the formation of Guyan Stone Forest. Well, a god able to fight one so powerful as Rex Lapis was certainly very strong in its own right. Indeed. This is where the value lies in research at Guyan Stone Forest. Most of the objects from that time were lost to the sea. But the gigantic waves created by the Overlord of the Vortex have given those sunken objects a chance to see the light of day again. So you're saying that if we look carefully, we'll be able to get very, very rich at... Uh, I mean, rich with archaeological knowledge and historical value, yes? <laughs> That's all I seek in life. <laughs> well, since we brought so many people, I think it would be best to split up and look. Okay then. I will go with my friend here. Although I have a smattering of knowledge in various disciplines, when it comes to archaeology, I can't compete with the expert here. Huh? M me What's the matter? This is your profession. Why are you so surprised? I get it. I'll escort him then. Okay. If we find anything valuable or rare, let's meet on the shore opposite from here. The ancient god probably left behind lots of elemental marks. Following them should make our search much easier. Well, go ahead then. Use your elemental sight to look for any marks. With the wind! Huh? <laughs> 
Guyan Stone Forest is a place where a god was defeated, and its remnants still affect the area to this day. for a little shot. <laughs> We're going to hunt. that object in the center. Perhaps it emits the remnant strength of the god. That would certainly attract them. The Hydromanic Monsters. Hmm. I have a contract and must put my personal feelings aside. Go ahead. Defeat them and recover the relic. I'm looking forward to this. Make sure to keep up. Frozen. You can't run! 
a stone slab, but its design is quite unique. This should be enough to garner some information. Let's head back. You call yourself a scholar of archaeology? You can't even recognize this or that. What are you good for? We all have our areas of expertise. I already tried very hard to explain. Oh, stop arguing! What in the world happened? This girl just keeps bragging about how she's an archaeologist, but she doesn't even know anything about the surrounding ruins. I even know more than her. She left me to rely solely on guessing, I mean experience, to find anything valuable to take back. Ugh, what a waste of time. Uh... I've just been researching the God of Salt, so I'm not familiar with sea relics. Is that so strange? And you! You kept asking about how much Mora everything is worth! Can the value of relics only be measured in Mora? I... I mean, isn't measuring their value in Mora the easiest way? This also matches the traditions of Liyue, does it not? Now, now, calm down. No need to make a fuss. We were able to bring back some intriguing objects. Let's have a look. Oh. What a shame. <sighs> These objects were indeed washed ashore by the Overlord of the Vortex, but they have nothing to do with the god besides being in the vicinity at the time. This stone slab we found, however, has a mysterious pattern and faint aura of divine power. Perhaps it will be useful for research purposes. Quick, give it to me! <laughs> At least we didn't come for nothing. The power of the gods, yes! This is good. <laughs> oh, but these other objects are certainly worth a little something, right? It should be enough to cover the cost of hiring you. It's all mine. So... It's only valuable for research if there are remnants of divine power on it? Not at all. My quest to uncover the history of the God of Salt is because history can tell us about culture and beliefs. But you? You're just trying to use archaeology to get rich! Nonsense! I'm a professional archaeology researcher from Snezhnaya. I swear, if I'm lying, may the Lord of Geo strike me down! Oh, by the way... You probably don't want to sell that teacup. Oh? Why's that? That's not an ancient teacup. It's part of Ningguang's collection. It must have fallen here along with the Jade Chamber. So unless you want to mess with the Qi Sing... Ah, I see. Uh, what a shame. It was of such high quality, too. <laughs> see? You do want to sell these objects! But, uh, so what? Why can't I pursue wealth both intellectual and material? Don't be so simple-minded. <sighs> All right, then. No need to stay here any longer. Hmm. I'm rather quite intrigued by the God of Salt, too, actually. Let's go to Sal Terai next. Hmm. <laughs> 